Okay, hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today's lesson, we're going to be looking at electrostatics and let's see what we have here. We have this question too. It says 2.1, draw the electric field pattern associated with a negative point charge. Note what it is saying. Associated with a negative point charge, that means we are drawing only one point charge. So a lot of you made the mistake um, during this activity of drawing the, the the electric field pattern between two point charges two negative point charges and note here that it is saying only one point charge there so only we need to indicate only one point charge so we will draw our field lines so you only need few field lines like that and then from here you only need to indicate that in a negative point charge the charges flow inward so this is what you were required to draw guys Okay, so uh, then we have 2.2. It says three point charges A, B, and C of magnitude negative 2 microcoulomb, 4 microcoulomb, and negative 2 microcoulomb respectively are placed in the diagram as shown. So we can see in the diagram, so the distance between A and B 10 centimeter and B and C 10 centimeter. Then we know when we have this, um, we need to convect, right? And we also need to convect the macrocoulombs to coulombs. But then let's look at 2.2.1. It says, state in words the col uh, state in words Coulomb's law of electrostatics. So let's run quickly to that. It says, Coulomb's law states that the electrostatic force between two point charges is directly proportional to the magnitude of the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them so um, scratch off this there so it's between them right and then um, 2.2.2 says calculate the magnitude of the columbic force that A exerts on B so we are focused on this part here so between A and B so we know the formula fluid to calculate um, the electrostatic force or the columbic force is F is equal to K q1 q2 over r2 so this is k guys and then the k we we know that the k here is the constant which is 9.0 times 10 to the exponent of 9 and then here we have our charge q1 so which will be the charge on a which gives us 2 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6 and then we have 4 times 10 to the exponent of negative 6. So feel free to pause the video, guys, if you want to see where I got these values. And then our R, our R, remember, we have this 10 centimeters. And then we know that we have to convert it to meters. So to convert centimeters to meters, we know that we have to divide by 100. So we'll take this 10, divide it by 100, and then we'll have 0 0.1 meters and this is the distance that we'll be substituting in here so this is 0 0.1 and then square then from here it's just a matter of punching all this in your calculator then you will have 7.2 newtons right so now you might ask yourself what happened to the negative here you will remember that um, when it comes to substituting here we said you do not mind the negative right so the negative and the positive from here only tells you that the force uh, the, there will be a force of attraction between these um, spheres right or these charges so we can just say here attraction right but then remember we are only asked of, for for the magnitude so it's 7.2 newtons and then 2.2.3 says calculate the magnitude of the net columbic force that charge B experiences as a result of the other two charges. So we can see that B here is um, in the middle of A and C. Then that means B here is experiencing the electrostatic force um, due to C and also experiencing the electrostatic force due to A. Now they're saying we must calculate the net electrostatic force but then remember we've already calculated for A and B and then we got 7.2 newtons but then 
looking at b and c we can see that these are almost the same values right so a was negative 2 macro coulomb and c here is negative 2 macro coulomb and the distance between them is still the same so without any calculation we can just see here um that if we if we are to check here the relationship between these two also the electrostatic force or the columbic force would be 7.2 newton but then remember when we have um a two-dimensional question like this now the way we calculate the net electrostatic force will not be by taking this one and adding it to that one now we have to close off here and then this becomes a right angle triangle so the net electrostatic force will be calculated by calculating the hypotenuse side formed from this right angle triangle now to do that we have f net is equals to so we can call the the, the force from a and b f1 and then the other one b to c f2 but then remember all this must be squared so f1 square f2 square then from now on it's just a matter of substituting the two values so 7.2 and then square plus 7.2 and then square also then you just punch this in your calculator you have 10 point so it's 10.18 newtons so that's the magnitude of the net electrostatic force okay so 2.2.4 says calculate the strength of the net electric field at b now to calculate that one we will know that uh, the formulas to calculate electric field strength we have two of them which is this one or we can use this one right now we need to note the difference between these two formulas when do we get to use um one of this formula this formulas here if we have a point charge and then we have charge q for example and then we know the distance between charge q and this positive point charge then we can go for this formula so we can say this formula is effective for one dimension questions but then if we already know the f net say we've already calculated the net electrostatic force then this is the formula to go now you will note that in 2.2.3 we had already calculated the f net which is the net electrostatic force um, acting on b due to the two other point charges and then we got that it is 10.18 newtons now since since we know the net electrostatic force that means we can now apply this formula it's e is equals to 10.18 and then now here on q we can just divide by what by the charge on b because now it's saying calculate the strength of the net electric field at b so we are going to use the charge of b so that is 4 multiplied by 10 to the exponent of 6 now punching that in your calculator you will have 2.2 five so rounding off to two decimal places that's 2.55 times 10 to the exponent of six ton per coulomb do not forget the si unit for electric field strength is newton per coulomb there you have it